I just flew 17 hours from India to Los Angeles for the Apple Experience event that's happening tomorrow. Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and today the word of the day is AI, Apple Intelligence. It's out now already with the 18.1 iOS update. Let me show you five amazing things you can do with it. All right, the first question to ask, how do you actually get access to Apple Intelligence? Well, it's very simple. If you have an iPhone 15 or higher, you can go into the settings and change your language to US English and that will give you access to Apple Intelligence. Then you just go to Siri and you should be able to see Apple Intelligence over there. Apply for waitlist and then you should get access in about five to 10 minutes. That's what happened for me. So that is what you will get after you update to 18.1 and then 18.2 as well. And before we talk about Siri, the first improvement you'll see is in the Photos app itself. Let me show you what I mean. So on the Photos app, I can basically just search for specific things. For example, I can just say issue, which is me and my mom. So pictures in which me and my mom are visible. And as you can see, it's able to search for these queries. I can also put more conditions like in daytime in Singapore and I can get access to all of these pictures of me and my mom. So that's one thing you can do with it. Another thing that is possible is clean up. Now this is a picture of me and my mom in Singapore Changi airport, but I don't want this luggage in this picture. So what I can do is I can go into the edit section and I can go to clean up. So clean up is this new feature wherein I can remove specific things. It's already telling me to remove the luggage. So as you can see, I'll just click on this and in a couple of seconds, the luggage would be gone. And it feels like the luggage was never there in the first place. This is what you can do with Apple Intelligence inside of the Photos app. The second huge improvement is with Siri. So Siri now has a lot more context about what you're talking and it can also help you get better recommendations. Now Siri is getting smarter and there's a new animation. This is what it looks like. You can basically ask it to do anything. For example, I'll just ask Siri. Hey Siri, where was Sam Altman born? What is his height? How big is Apple? Who was the co-founder of Apple? When was Apple founded? What am I doing on the 7th of November? Oh, actually 10th of December. And as you can see, I can see my entire schedule right here on the 10th of December. The third huge thing with Apple Intelligence is writing tools. So inside of the Apple Notes app, inside of the website that you're visiting, any book that you're reading, anything that you're doing, you can simply select your text and you have a ton of things that you can do. Let's say you're on a website looking at a blog, but you want to summarize this blog. You can basically select this entire text, as you can see right now. This is a lot of text and go to writing tools. So writing tools, as you can see right here, provide you a lot of functionality, right? You can either proofread whatever you selected, you can rewrite it, you can change the tone to friendly, professional, or you can even turn it into a concise piece of text. You also have options for summarizing it, turning it into key points, basically bullets, turning it into a list and even a table. So let's have a look at the summary of this text right here. And this is the summary. I can share it, I can copy it, I can go back and I can also get key points from this entire text I've just selected. Common misconceptions, I can go back and I can get a list out of it as well. So this is the list that I've just gotten. Now, one more thing is you can basically go to the notes app and do the same thing here as well. So for example, I'll just select this whole text and I will turn up writing tools, get a summary. On number four, we have summarized messages and emails. So this is really interesting. Whenever you get a huge message, either on WhatsApp or you get a SMS or you go on email, now you can get a summary of it that you can have a look at. And then if you want to expand on that, you can always open that message. And in the mail app, you get a summary of every thread that you are a part of in emails. And you also get a summary of every email that you're getting. And the reason I'm talking about this is because in the world of cold emailing, now you have to be much more careful. You cannot have 
a clickbaity title you cannot say something but mean something else or have some salesy pitch in your email you have to focus on crafting better emails because now your email will not be visible the first thing people will see is going to be the summary and then think about looking at the whole email if they find it interesting and now the fifth feature which is not out yet is genmoji and the playground app itself this is a bit of a fun feature because here you can basically open the playground app and create images you can mix up different things you can mix your face with like a pumpkin if you are into halloween and just create multiple images with that mixture that's the playground app itself and the next one is genmoji so if you want to create a separate emoji for a particular friend that you want to send you can now generate it with the help of genmoji right into i messages and that is the top five things you can do right now with apple intelligence there's a lot more that you can do as well for example in the notes app you can now record your voice and it can give you live captions there's also an option for me to add an audio file so i can play record and it's now going to start recording i can also get live captions generated with the help of apple intelligence that you can see right here inside of the notes app so that is the power you can also later summarize this let me just stop it and get a summary of everything i've just talked about but these were the main five things you can do with apple intelligence go try it out yourself i think in the world of generative ai and artificial intelligence in general this is a great step by apple to help you do more things faster more efficient so take a look at it if you have an iphone which is 15 or above but what's your favorite feature of apple intelligence let me know below send this video to a friend and follow for more tomorrow is going to be the actual apple experience which i'm really excited about and i will be vlogging the entire thing so subscribe for more